Seamus, what do you think of the setup here? Does it meet your approval? Well, it meets Seamus' approval. Welcome to another episode of Hack a Week and another episode with Parallax Electronics. This week we are playing around with the Compass module and with the Board of Education. I've got this mounted here on a mast to keep it away from all the electronics and stuff because it will affect the thing because it's electronic after all. So, uh, we're going to do some demonstrations with this and show you how to output the data from it to the serial terminal window and to an LCD. So let's get started on it. Well, Seamus had uh, other obligations and JFET has taken his place here in the bench. So, anyway. Let's take a little closer look at this compass module. There are five terminals on here that it can interface with outside devices through. Three of them are for communication and two are power and ground. Over there in the upper left you'll see the orientation of X, Y, and Z. This does not have tilt compensation the way it's set up right now. That can be done with an accelerometer later on. We'll try that maybe. The reason it's on this long extension up away from the electronics is because it's very sensitive, obviously, to magnetic fields and uh, induction and such. So we need to get it up away from things, and when you use it on devices like robots or other things, you may want to do the same thing. Put it on a little uh, riser, not made of metal, and get it up away from all those electronics. So we have the uh, LCD connected up here, really simple connection on that. There's just simply a power, uh, ground, and then one data line. That's all there is to it. Three wires connect this baby up. It's super simple. Okay, let's dig into the code and make this thing work. So here we are in the uh, propeller tool uh, again, and we have some spin code open here. It's the HMC 5883L demo for the compass module and it will show us the raw XYZ and calculated azimuth plus a heading in degrees. And it does that through the uh, serial terminal window which is displayed on your computer screen and here in the object area is that object term which is the full duplex serial communication. Let's uh, check that out real quick here. We can oops, open the parallax serial terminal window right there and we will do that in a moment and uh, we need to upload this first, so uh, let's give that a F11, and it uploads, and then let's get our window uh, up here and uh, select the COM port. Let's uh, enable, and we'll clear that out. There we go. You can see uh, the raw XYZ and uh, the heading in degrees displayed, so as I rotate it around, you'll see this change the north, uh, south, east, west area and the degrees that it's showing in change. As I tilt it you'll also see a lot of change. So this module is not tilt compensated. It can be with uh, an accelerometer I guess and uh, I would like to check into doing that at some point maybe in the future make another video with the tilt compensation active. So that's what this demo program does. It will show you that XYZ coordinate and uh, also a heading in degrees. You could use that in a robot I suppose just as a proof of concept uh, to try out your compass module and that's one application. Another one would be just to have a simple compass that you could look at on an LCD and that was the goal here. So I got an LCD from Parallax. It's just a simple uh, 2 by 16, 2 lines, 16 characters each and I went into that code for the uh, demo here and the first thing I did was go to the object section and in the version for the LCD I just got rid of the terminal object and substituted the LCD object and then anywhere throughout the entire code I did a search and replace for term and replaced it with LCD because anytime term came up, that was when it was actually writing to that using the term object. Well, now we're using the LCD object. So, logically, I figured I could use this code that way to get started. And so I did. And it showed up first with a lot of lines of uh, text just overlapping each other. And you couldn't really read 
exactly what was going on, but at least I could tell that something was getting through. So after a little bit of uh, tweaking and eliminating some code that wasn't needed, I came up with this version 2 here. I uh, called it version 2 because the first version was basically the one that was all gobbledygook. And now that's uploaded. Let's take a look at it on the workbench and see what it does. Okay, there's the readout you see right there in the LCD. And the, the backlight is on. That was a command that I put in there. And right now it's pointing almost north. Right there when it's at uh, north, zero, east. That's, that's uh, north as per this little chart. So right now it's pointing north, but it doesn't say north. It's just showing the numbers, and then it will show these numbers in between the compass points as I rotate it. So as I rotate it towards uh, east, you'll see the numbers changing, just like they did in the serial terminal window, but we're seeing them here on the LCD instead. But it's missing the north, south, east, and west uh, things that uh, would tell us when it's actually pointing north. So now let's get back into the code and make some changes so that we can see that. Well that worked but uh, the uh, characters that were staying behind and lingering and such just didn't really please me so I decided to find out why that was happening and also to get that north, south, east, west word to pop up like the one we saw in the uh, serial terminal window. So Let's find the area where the, all that happens. Uh, that was right here. If we go back to the demo version, you'll see right here is where it wrote north, east, south, and west. And it did it when the parameters were at a certain value based on which way the compass azimuth had been determined by these if statements. So I figured, well, maybe I can just take this north, south, east, west stuff and copy it like so. So we'll copy that and then take it over here to the version that I wrote and paste it back in. Let's see, we'll put that right here. And then we need to change all this. Um, I'm doing this to demo to you how to use the search and replace. Everywhere it says term is no longer applicable because we're not writing to the serial terminal, we're writing to the LCD. So let's hit Control F and we want to find anywhere where it says term and we want to replace that with LCD. And remember we're referencing an object here. So let's replace all. There were 26 occurrences of that and now it says LCD everywhere. Hmm. Well let's upload that and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are back at the bench with that uh, code uploaded, and as I come up on north, there it is. It shows the word north. And I keep rotating around, but wait, what's this? There's a little leftover H right there. See, that's a little problem I'm still having, and I've got to work out in the code, is when this line of data changes, I need to clear it all out and get rid of any of these leftover pieces and characters. If I go to the west, the word west shows up, but see what's happening now? Things are starting to spill over because there's no no uh, clear command happening there uh, on the LCD. So if I get back up around north again, which is right there. It says north here, but that west is still lingering over there, which is not cool. Now if I turn it off and back on, we'll get back to just a blank again. And now as I go towards the west, see there it is again. That H is still lingering right there after W. It goes to west and oops, that's, that's a little weird. So I've got to get in that code now and figure out just when to uh, clear that screen. Well that was okay but uh, we still had some characters that were lingering there. I didn't like the way that was happening so let's take another look at what we just did. 
some of these lines of code uh, do not apply to the uh, LCD. For instance, lcd.tx11, uh, command 11, does nothing. That's not applicable to the LCD. So we could eliminate that and probably a few others. So I looked up the list of uh, commands on the LCD data sheet and found that some of these weren't needed and then also discovered things like a carriage return which seemed to help with uh, keeping the data nice and straight on the uh, LCD and another one was this uh, LCD.TX8 which was to move the cursor one space to the left and then uh, the spaces and the moving of the cursor after each one of these uh, commands to write to the LCD are what did the trick with version 3 that you'll see here where I added some more of those uh, spaces which basically worked like an eraser so before and after if it was writing the, the uh, east, north, etc. because of the number of characters uh, I would add spaces in front of the characters and then that would eliminate any previous writing to the LCD which kind of partly eliminates having to refresh the LCD through a clear command which takes up five milliseconds this way it just stays real time let's upload this and see what it looks like okay version three uploaded to the board let's see what we've got now with the addition of those uh, ASCII character spaces here and a few other places. Uh, there we go. Everything clears out okay as it heads over towards east. East shows up and then uh, everything clears out. No leftover characters. No more straggling characters. Let's try south. Yep, south works. Over to uh, west. West is there, and yeah, there we go. That did the trick. It's a little sloppy the way I did it, but it does work. Um, adding those spaces here and there, and moving the characters around so that uh, when the data is refreshed, it clears out the old data that's on the screen. I'm sure there's a lot better way to do this. Uh, probably something a lot more elegant than the way I did it, which is pretty sloppy. And if anybody has any ideas on that, and uh, they want to modify the code, feel free to download it from the Hack-A-Week website. I'll post the project page in the video description. And if you come up with a better way, please do share it with me, and I'll post it on my website and give you credit for it. And people can download it and play around with it. So that's, that's about it for that code. Well, I got the LCD finally reading out the way I wanted it to and uh, it wasn't too difficult. I'm still what I would consider a pretty sloppy programmer, but I got the job done, so what the hell. Uh, if anyone uh, comes up with a better way, like I said, go ahead and send me the code and I'll post it on the website. Next week I may try putting an XB module on here and transmit the data from the Compass module to another Board of Education with the Receive XB module and we'll connect the uh, LED to that and see how that works out. That'd be a good demo for the XBs. And later on, I may add an altimeter to this whole project, which would be pretty cool. Then you could put this whole setup in your car, get away from the Board of Education and just a propeller chip only, and uh, the compass module, an accelerometer, of course, would be needed for the tilt compensation. But anyway, that's future projects, and that might be lots of fun. So uh, that's about it for this week. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on hacking. Let's see which way is north. That away, I'm headed north.